Hi, welcome again. I'm Alex Jordan from Learn Color Grading and FilmSimplified.com. And today I owe Black Magic Design an apology. So, you have to understand where I'm coming from. Usually the word auto color or auto adjustment didn't work on multiple platforms and I completely lost faith in anything that says auto uh, white balance, auto color, auto anything. So on DaVinci Resolve 14, we found these two new settings. If you come to the parallel wheels here, on gain, you have this new thing here and you have the same on left. Now, once you see these things, you automatically understand what they're supposed to do. Now, they're supposed to adjust two things, the white balance and the exposure of certain points that you choose on the image. So for example, if I click on this dot here, notice that now I'm grabbing it, it became my mouse, and I can choose any point on the image to click on. Let me just get it back here. If you click on the one under lift, it will adjust the shadows. So if you click on a point, it should make this point first, the darkest point in the image. It will just adjust the exposure to make this particular point the darkest point in the image and to make it absolutely black with no uh, shifts in color whatsoever. And the one under gain should be doing the same thing, but it will just make this particular point you click on the whitest point or the brightest point in the image, and it will adjust for any white balance issues, making it pure white. Now, once I saw these things, I was like, okay, it never worked before. I tried it on multiple platforms. Just, just forget about it. And then I tried it and wow. Okay. Now, to understand how this works, let's take a look at this image. Now, this image has been shot with some, I can't really remember, but it was shot with some sort of a flat profile. You notice that you have some dark areas, like these leaves here, they should be dark, and you have some bright areas here. So instead of me wasting time tweaking the image and working, uh, you know, to, to adjust everything, I'm going to just click on these two points and see what happens. First, I'm going to click on the dark one, on lift, and I'm just going to bring it to one of the branches here, maybe, and click. So, what happened here is that Resolve chose this particular point I clicked on, and it just reduced lift to make it the darkest point in the image and adjust it for any uh, color imbalance. Then, I'm going to click on the one on gain, and I'm just going to come to the sky here, and I'm going to click on one of these points here, because I, this should be pure white, and it should be, you know, very bright. So, I'm just going to click here, and notice what happened. Look how with two simple clicks, we just adjusted the image. Take a look at the image before and after. It's just unbelievable how well this thing works in DaVinci Resolve 14. Let's come to this image now. Now this image has a lot of imbalances in colors in both the dark areas and the bright areas. So I'm gonna go to lift and this should be a pure black here. So I'm just going to click on this area and notice what happened. It took this point and it made it the darkest point in the image. It just brought the lift down to make it dark and it adjusted for all the color imbalances and it just made it pure black. And take a look at the image before, the colors before and after. Look at how more natural the colors look. And then I'm going to come to the one in gain here and I'm going to choose some area in the sky and it adjusted it also, so let's take a look at the image before and after. Again, another example, this was shot, I guess, with some flat profile, I can't remember what it is right now, but again, clicking on lift here, taking the point, and maybe I'm just gonna click on this area here, this should be pure black, and I'm gonna take the gain here, and I'm just gonna click somewhere in the sky, and take a look at the colors. Notice, because I clicked on an area on the sky that was not supposed to be pure white, uh, I lost some information in the highlights. But that's very simple to fix because I can simply come down to HL here, which stands for highlights, and I can bring some of the highlights back and take a look at the before and after. This is extremely important because it just makes color correcting uh, images just unbelievably easier and faster. Um, I have to admit that I'm very impressed. And finally, after you do all that, you have this thing here that we always had before with just an eyedropper just to 
uh, choose something that should be pure white. So I'm just, I think this table should be white. It's in the midtones, not in the highlights nor shadows. And I'm going to click here and take a look at the image before and after. How we color corrected the image and we got the natural colors of the area simply by three clicks without us doing anything else. Now, I know this is something that should be easy and fast and I shouldn't be making a whole video about it, but uh, for the first time, I see something that works this well. So uh, it's there for you to use and you can always uh, save the highlights or recover the highlights using the uh, etch highlights option here. And uh, yeah, that's all. So if you like this, please visit us at learncolorgradingandfilmsimplified.com. Thank you.